Biomutant is awesome. I've spent a ton of hours in this new world and want to finish this review so I can hop back into the game and get more gear to further improve my little furry creature. It is important that you go in with the right expectations though. Like this is not a triple A open world title like we saw them recently from Sony or Ubisoft. But there are totally smart decisions and some great gameplay systems in place that make Biomutant more fun in some areas than those other open world games. So in this video I will share my review, what I really enjoyed but also what I thought could be better in this game. A like on the video would of course really help me out and let's go. One of the best things Biomutant does is giving you a ton of freedom in how you create your own little animal. And this starts from moment one in the character creator where you choose your breed which impacts some of your base stats but also the size and look of your mutant. Something you can then further enhance by focusing on one of the attributes. There's a class which gives you some extra passive bonuses and perks to unlock. Like there's quite a ton going on at the start already and I love how it doesn't stop there. Because every time you level up you can further focus on one of the stats or balance it out however you want. It takes some time to really notice the impact, but once you get to around level 20, the choices you made early on really start to shine, which makes the game even more enjoyable. Like there are almost no limits, and this totally means that my BV Furball will excel in a lot of different things than your maybe smaller but faster character. If you then combine that with the amount of gear you can find, the need to change gear in certain areas of the map in order to survive, and you're constantly infested in building your character to more easily take out the many enemies the game throws at you. And I mostly played this game as a relaxed podcast on type of experience. There is a story in place but I don't think that that's the reason to boot up Biomutant. You get some explanation at the start and if you follow the pre-launch trailers then you likely know that there's this world tree that is dying and it's up to you to kill four world eaters that are harming this tree to restore balance to the world. There is more going on though, like tribes are trying to survive as well and you can ally with them and unite them or make peace with the first tribe you see and kill all the others. And that's something that I did, which made our tribe the only tribe left in the world. The problem is though that the story is told through a narrator. Every character you meet namely speaks in this made up language so you will have the narrator tell you what this person is saying. Asks if you were tired, as it's a bit of a hike here from the village. He wonders if your Mooma knows you are here. Yours. I would just end up reading it and skipping through dialogue because of how the narrator would slow down the overall gameplay. You will also sometimes out of nowhere say strange one-liners while you are like exploring the world. The best stories are about heroes. This is such a story. And you can luckily turn this off in the settings, something I eventually did. A lot of dialogue is also reused, so you will be hearing the same things multiple times when taking over the forts from the different clans for example. So I wish they would have changed that up a bit, but if you just ignore it like I did most of my play session, then you're in for a really good time. The cool part is namely that the game really lets you go wherever you want. So you can tackle main quest objectives, side content, etc. in a lot of different orders. So high chance that you missed out on some key unlocks early on in the game because you went after the tribes instead. I for example killed all the tribes and explored most of the map while only having killed one of the four world eaters. So there's really a ton of freedom. One way the game halts you is by sometimes throwing in warm, cold or maybe biohazard areas which require you to have special gear in order to explore them. So that will hold you back quite a bit but the moment you enter these areas the game will be like hey you don't have this gear yet Here's a new side mission which will lead you to unlock this armor set. So they can just go and chase that to explore these regions. Also amazing is that a loadout feature is already in place at launch 
where you can very easily change between builds. So what I did is I put these special suits in every slot. So when I reach a location that requires me to have a certain amount of resistance, I just switch to the gear I need without having to unequip my current loadout and put on the necessary outfit. It's really convenient. And Biomutant is really at its best when you are exploring the open world. You find enemies fighting so you can intervene or go to abandoned buildings to loot everything. There will be NPCs that need your help or one of the many special activities that all help you grow your character even more. Like everything in this game feels worth your time, whether it's finding a mirage that lets you relive some older memories, which gives you a powerful upgrade after you complete it, or catching a small animal after which you can decide to kill it or keep it for dark or light aura. Yes, there is this whole infamous style good and bad system in this game where leaning one way or the other unlocks brand new powers. So just like an infamous always choosing either good or bad is the smartest option, Although, you are of course free to do what you want. So that's a fun extra feature, but I mostly want to praise the loot system in this game. Because this makes sure that going out of your way to loot everything is worth your while. One reason is because loot gets more powerful the further you get into the game. But also because you can increase the loot chance stats to improve the quality of the items you encounter. So, this is something you can choose to focus on when building your character, which has an enormous impact later on in the game. The loot you find in Biomutant is in most cases random, so I cannot point you to this crate where I got this legendary because it will likely not be there for you. But this does make sure that every area can contain something valuable because even small areas can contain some of the best loot. There are also a ton of different things you can find, from medical items that give you health back to gear that completely alters the look of your character. So you'll always be finding cool new stuff throughout your journey. There are also many different weapons from melee to ranged, but you will mostly be finding crafting parts which let you build the item that you want. At any time you can hop into the crafting menu to make a cool new weapon with the parts you found and focus on some of the stats that you prefer. If you don't like certain parts then just dismantle them so you can craft the things you actually want. And crafting materials can also be found in the world and are really useful so this once again shows you how everything has a purpose and that it's really rewarding to explore everything and loot everything you come across in the world. And I now crafted this amazing two-handed crush weapon, which lets me easily take care of everything. And that's of course a pitfall for letting players go crazy, that things can get unbalanced. And I was playing on normal most of the times to get a general sense of the difficulty, but that turned out to be way too easy for me. I did not really mind it though, because it felt earned. Like I found the perfect way to build my character, to crush everyone. But yeah, I do wish you were pushed to play a bit differently overall. Like the Mercury Drop skill got me through most of the game, so it's really up to you to diversify your playstyle to get more out of the combat. Because overall it feels great to hit enemies and there's quite a lot of variety. Like sure, some enemies will look similar, but they will always have a slightly different fighting style, so you always have to watch out for different type of attacks. It never felt like a chore to battle the enemies, also because there will always be some time before you encounter the next group, and the XP you get makes every enemy extremely rewarding to take out. Again, the gameplay loop in Biomutant is brilliant, every minute spent is worth it somehow. Also some of the upgrades and items you find have a significant impact on the gameplay. Every clan for example has a special tribe weapon you get by helping them or taking them out and they all feel unique like there's a bow or a shuriken you can just throw extremely fast and for melee weapons I really love the staff that also helps you a bit with platforming. There are crazy vehicles you can unlock that really help you traverse the world, but if you don't follow the right missions from the start, you will encounter them way later. And there are way more examples that I don't want to spoil, but yeah, the point is you never know what you might find, which makes exploring everything 
even more rewarding. So yeah, if you are in for a new loot-driven open-world RPG that is just great to get lost in and doesn't require a lot of attention but will have a great gameplay loop, then Biomutant is worth checking out. Although, it's up to you if you think that's worth the $60. Again, the narrative did not really do it for me in terms of presentation and the narrator and also how much time you will spend between some major plot points. It's really about getting lost in this world, building your own character to fight the many creatures in the ways that you want. And I'll be diving back into the game right now and have tips and tricks and guides up on the channel very soon. So totally subscribe for way more on Biomutant if you haven't already. A like on the video will of course really help me out. And maybe a new Biomutant video is already up. They can watch that by clicking on the screen. For now, I'll speak to you next time and goodbye.